For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. Sometimes things are better left to the professionals, or maybe the actors who play them. Like Star Trek, for example, but if space is the final frontier, one engineer thinks we're doing a pretty bad job exploring it. This is buildtheenterprise.org. Its creator, only known as BTE Dan, wants to build the Constitution-class Starship Enterprise for the next 20 years. Now, all Trekkies will tell you we have to wait until the year 2245 before the first Enterprise will be built, and John luc Picard will say... Engage. 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 So, Dan's just a little ahead of schedule, and Build the Enterprise is surprisingly thorough. It's all here. Production of the Enterprise would be done entirely in space. The ship would contain a rotating gravity section inside of the saucer. Triple layer walls would surround the hull to increase safety. And power? A 1.5 gigawatt nuclear reactor, but no warp speed. In fact, the ship's maiden voyage is expected to reach the moon in three days. But that's far from high tech. The Apollo missions in the 1960s were done at the same speed. When completed, the ship would run 3,150 feet in length. This is about two Empire State buildings stacked together. Why go to such great lengths? BTE Dan says the problem is our space probes, the shuttle program, and even the International Space Station aren't worth the effort to maintain, let alone look cool enough to be in a movie. On the site, he explains, The average person is left wondering why we are spending billions of dollars to build and maintain these fragile habitats. We're still stuck in the 1960s in many ways when it comes to putting human beings into space. So can you take this guy seriously? Head over to buildtheenterprise.org to see for yourself. BTE Dan claims to have spent the last 30 years working as an engineer for a Fortune 500 company. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Forrest.